Kim Backer's Solutions. That's what your company is called. That's what you do. What's the story behind you, Kim? What got you talking about Kim Backer's Solutions or creating Kim Backer's Solutions? Okay. Well, um, I, I start from the beginning. Okay. I, as, as you well put it, I am a women's empowerment life coach and a facilitator and I'm a trainer. And an author as well. Can I do a plug? Can I do a quick plug? I'm going to be cheeky. Yes, yes, That's my yes. Book. You can do a plug. You guys can see it. <laughs> Stop hurting me. Time to get out. Okay, that's on Amazon. Okay, and um, you know, and I train women to become confident, to understand who they are, to move forward into their destiny. Um, like I always say with any of my interviews, I'm not a psychiatrist and I'm not a social worker, nor am I a lawyer. And I'm not here to tell um, anybody what to do, okay? I'm just here, with, I'm just a one woman with a mission and, 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 a, and, a, and a story to tell and to help other, other people. And for many years, you know, I had a huge secret and it was the man that I loved more than anyone else on, the, on this planet, basically, um, he held a knife at my throat and he threatened to kill me more times than I can ever, ever remember. Um, for every verbal abuse, for every physical abuse, for uh, my abuser would always say that he didn't mean it and, and that I brought this anger out in him and made him do it. And, and why did he do it? Wait for it. These famous words, he said, because he loved me. And this is such a trap disguised as love because I truly believed he loved me I truly believed that he 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 meant he didn't mean to hurt me he didn't mean to batter me um but he did it because either I aggravated him or this man truly loved me and it's so funny how that how we th there's a misconception that how that that this these kind of stories can be disguised as love for many people and i think what happened for me was that when i got out of the relationship well as i said you can go to get my book and find the rest of my story but <laughs> as i uh, when i when i left that relationship um i um i was in a really really dark place um i'd lost myself i didn't know who i was i had no identity I certainly didn't look like how I did today, do today, and um, I was a mess. And um, I basically, I had, I have a, son, I had a son. Um, um, I had a, a small little boy at the time, and um, it was for me, you know, did I, did I want him? My, my son was my motivation, and it, you know, every time I looked at him, I would look, I, he, as he'd be looking back at me, and I was just thinking, what is he seeing? Uh, did I want him to see this? And I went, I embarked on a, on a real sort of like self-personal development journey um, that took many years. And it was something that I found quite interesting because I found myself changing. I found myself liking me. I found myself, I mean, it was a point I couldn't even look in the mirror because I was always told how ugly and disgusting I was, and I believed it. All right, here's, this is a big one. Victims in position of domestic abuse violence do not realize it. It's not acceptable to live with abuse within a relationship. The abusive lifestyle becomes a norm for someone, which is mm. not society, relational, healthy, within a relationship. It's awful. A person feels worthless and confused in an abusive relationship. Wow, that's a deep one there. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> I've got a deep one. Okay, kid. Okay, Kim, because let's hear about the book. confidence building does for you people. Let's, let's hear about the book again. Tell us about the book, where it's, it can be found. It could, all my books could be found on Amazon under Kim Backus, under my name, okay? There it is. I don't know if you can see it. Am I getting the screen properly? There you go. Yep, yep, yep. That's, that's it. And I've also receiving emails. <laughs> yes, you're, you're getting some comments here. Go, Kim, plug your book. Wow, go, Kim, plug your book. Promote your book. Amazing. Kim, I want to thank you for tuning in today. I want to thank you for connecting with us and sharing your story. It is so important for us to share our stories across the world. That's what brings change to people. And especially when you're passionate about what you do. And today, we've seen the passion from you. But not it's just about passion. Change. Mm. It's about change. Yep. You've got your process involved, you've got your products involved, you've got your books, you've got your courses, you are changing people's lives, changing women's lives, one person at a time. And if you join the program tonight, you'll be a whole group that'll be changed. 
So tune into Kim's program tonight. Go find let me put her email address again and her details so you can find it. And Kim, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for thank don't you for again. having me. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Thank you, guys. Thank you for listening to me. Okay, so let's hear the final word from our sponsor today. You are listening to the Message Talk Show and Podcast. Do you believe you have something to share? Do you believe you have something to contribute? Do you have a story to tell the world, to share with your community? Gandhi said, man often becomes what he believes himself to be. If you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. So join us on the Message Talk Show and Podcast with host Alex Gordon. Right. Thank you. Thank you folks for listening to us today. Thank you for connecting with us. This is the Message the Message Podcast, the Message Talk Show, broadcasting every Thursday, 11 o'clock. And if you want to get your message out there, if you want to get your message out, just connect with me. We're on Facebook at the Message Talk Show. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for connecting. Thank you for spending time with us. And I will see you again next week. The Message Talk Show is back.